today we are going to worship Raja Lakshmi, the goddess which rules the kings. It's a very important thing today to understand that something has basically gone wrong in the working of our political systems and why the people have lost their sense of justice, fair play and the benevolence of the people. Where have we gone wrong that this is being lost? It's not only in India, it's not only in Japan or in England or any other place where we think there is democracy. There are people in every country who are really of very, very low level and who are trying to look after the welfare of them. I should say in our own country we had great kings, very great. And uh, we had saints who really ruled the kings. But they were real gurus. <laughs> they were the people who really lived a life of saints, they were real saints, inside, outside. And the people also accepted the kings who had spiritual background, those who respected spiritual background. So when the Raja Lakshmi Lakshmi, that is the one responsible for looking after the benevolence of the people. When she acts, people think that they have, not even think, they, they do it automatically, that they are there for benevolence. They don't have to tell themselves, it's just that they feel that it is their job this is what they have to do, is to look after the people that are to be brought to better levels of life. This is what they think, they don't, don't think like a party politics under the influence of the Goddess of Lakshmi, which rules the political side, we can say, the kingdoms and all that. First thing is generosity. When this thing happens, that you get some position, if somebody becomes leader, I don't know what happens to him. It is a myth, it is ego that gets pampered. But this ego can be easily managed if you worship the Raja Lakshmi. She is the giver of balance. Firstly, she rides on the elephant. It's not easy for a lady to climb on an elephant. I have done it and she stood straight with a complete balanced attitude. And her blessings are tremendous. The first blessing one gets the imbibement of dignity, dignity of a king, dignity of a queen. With her blessing, first of all, you get that dignity. That dignity is full of love, love for others. That personality emits nothing but love and benevolence for others. Nothing else. Wherever she looks, 
in every glance she blesses people. She doesn't expect anything. She's a queen, what can you give to the queen? She's the highest of all, in every way, what can you give it to her? So first thing is the sign, is that such a person has a personality that just blesses people, thinks of their benevolence, cares for each and every person who comes. Then the second blessing of the Goddess is that you develop a kind of a temperament which is very dignified but also very humorous. And understanding what other people are like. Then Raja Lakshmi is the one who stands on dharma. If there is some adharmi, then she will not bless that person. It's a kind of a divine discretion he should have as to whom to be kind and whom to be punishing. That divine discretion should be there in a person. If a king does not have that divine discretion, then he can punish the good and he may help the bad people. But this divine discretion disappears when you are self-centered. That's the main point, is a complete detachment about the power should be there, complete detachment. Why should Raja Lakshmi care for anything? But now there are some who will pamper a person, this, this and that and then they feel, ah, ha, ha, we are on top of the... If you are a king, you are a king, so what? I mean, if you are an imposter, then you might feel your ego. But if you are really the king, then you won't feel. If you are under the influence of the Goddess, then that is the only thing you enjoy. The rest of it is nothing. Whether you have diamonds or you have silver or you have anything, makes no difference at all. Now how people misuse the scriptures also one should say. That Raja Lakshmi is sitting on the elephant, all right. So they should have all very big cars, you see. She's sitting on the elephant because elephant is the highest animal. It's very kind, very forgiving and has such a tremendous memory. She is not sitting there uh, to show off, but she's sitting there to see around what is happening. So the person who is innately a king has the blessings of the Raja Lakshmi. Then what does she do? What does she do to such a man? What she does is first his name is written on the hearts of the people whom he rules. She writes it with her own hand. They adore him, they admire him and they try to imbibe his qualities within himself. The another blessing of Raja Lakshmi is that she grants a particular type of a body which has a coefficients, which gives vibrations. They may not be very selfish people to make a big advertisement about themselves, talking about themselves, these, that. But the way they are, wherever they are, they show. So what a politician has to understand that he has not to make money, he does not have to uh, have 
a big uh, show about himself. He has to remember that I am here for the fame of a good man. He should worry about the fame he will be leaving after his death. So what you have to worry is about absolute correct character. So try to make yourself such beautiful instruments of Raja Lakshmi that people, when they will see you, they will vote for you and tomorrow you will rule the world. I do not want you to get out of politics or get in politics, but you have to first get the blessings of the Raja Lakshmi and then only you should understand what's wrong with our country, what we have to do, what is the purpose, why do we want to become politicians, put your attention from yourself to outside. So now you have to know that if you have to really take to politics, you have to have the blessings of Raja Lakshmi and for that you have to build up yourself with that dignity, with that sense. I bless you from my heart that in every country such people will come up. May God bless you.